Okay, so uh, we're going to make a nice blackened fish with um, a garlic roast mashed potatoes. And the, we're going to have to start with the potatoes first because these, these take about two hours slow roasted on the barbecue. Um, it's the same way I, I kind of did the sweet potatoes. Do you want to take the lead on that? Yes, of course. Okay, all right, there you go. Thank you. That's it. Right, folding the two aluminium foils together, rolling them in at the side to form a type of a book shape. This doubles the size of the aluminium foil and strengthens it at the same time. And then one more layer in the middle. Well, it has black and pink peppercorns actually in there. And if you'd like to cut a garlic in half on this lap, okay. right down the middle, one piece in there, just whole like that because we're going to use the garlic after. Drizzle a piece of olive oil, yeah, break it all around, drizzle a piece of olive oil all over. Yes, more oil. Pouring a little bit more olive oil all around the potatoes. This must smell delicious because this bloody dog behind me keeps hopping on us. Alright, going to fold it in like we did on the other one. Um, Roll it in at the side there. This keeps all the flavor inside. And we leave a little bit of a gap. This gap helps steam and roast the potatoes at the same time. Ready for the barbie? Yes, it's ready. All right, let's go. Potatoes are ready. Now I'm going to make, actually, Slab's going to make the mashed potatoes because he's got to learn how to do it. Then we're going to do the blackened spice and this is a beautiful dish. Fish and mashed potatoes is always for me a marriage in heaven. A culinary marriage in heaven. I love fish and mash. Going back from the days of being a kid. Adding the garlic. This gives the potatoes roasted garlic flavor. Now adding the olive oil. Seasoning with sizzled and the black pepper too. Mashing the potatoes till they're smooth. Mix in, uh, mix into a nice smooth base. Slav, thanks for that mate. Okay, now Slav's made this beautiful mashed potatoes. I'm going to make now the blackened seasoning for the snapper. Adding one spoon turmeric, one spoon of paprika, one spoon of coriander powder, one spoon of allspice, ground cloves, nutmeg and cinnamon. I don't add salt and pepper to this because I'm going to season the fish. Adding the fish to the spice mix, making sure you cover all of the skin. Adding the extra virgin olive oil and we want this to be nice and hot. Adding the fish skin side down away from your body. Turning the fish over. Slightly black in color. This, my friends, I can tell you, will be delicious. Now putting some of that nice oil over the fish. Adding my mashed potato on two spoons. With your spoon oiled on the back make a little well like so. Adding fish, chopped coriander and some nice yellow peppers and a 
little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil with some herbs. Look at that. This is now ready to taste. Come on, Slav. Where are you, man? Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, mate. Go on. Get in there. Okay, we testing. Enjoy. Thank you. I think I can give you first proletariat star for you. It is much better as a Michelin star because it is only first and only one. Down the fish market, of course what do you expect to find? Fish! No, a bloody big python, look at that thing! Woo. Look at that! Wow! That is impressive! to hang my ducks over the fire. Today I'm going to make for you a nice bamboo garlic pepper pork on the barbie. Peppery and garlicky, you get a hint of wood from the bamboo. That, people, if you live in a place where there's bamboo, this one is a must. Delicious. Serving this up while the chicken is still crispy. Look at those beautiful colours. Shiny red. Ready, ginger. And that is ready to eat. <laughs> 